Six graduate candidates from Gillen University's Sustainable Economic Development Program embarked on a study of the sugar industry as part of their thesis. This past weekend, the students orally presented their findings and some recommendations to stakeholders in the industry. We spoke with Nestor Hernandez, who proposed the idea of a case study of the industry. The sugar industry is very close to my heart, primarily because I'm a farmer myself. And I had initially started a uh, project involving sugar um, industry irrigation. It's something that I have always wanted to do, and I got the opportunity, the platform was there. Now I got the chance to actually, through my academia, get the information and actually pose it to the stakeholders in the industry so that we can together move in the best way possible and to maintain the industry in a sustainable way. What did you see that we are doing right now in the industry and um, what recommendations you make? Primarily, there was a clear evidence in the divide of the of the stakeholders within the industry. Um, I was amazed. Actually, I had expected something like that, primarily because there's a lack of communication between the stakeholders, including um, the Cane Farmers Association, SICB, and BSI. It is important for us to understand that this is has to be a concerted effort from everybody in order for us to move forward. It is primary for the cane farmers to be updated and informed of every single initiative and intent of changes that the industry has to come, come up with in order for us to understand the logistics and the reality of the situation of the industry. There is no way one person can push this boat across this river. It has to be everybody involved because everybody has a stake in this. Idelso Leslie of the Cayo District studied the industry at the international level and told us he found out that Belize is not alone in the world as to the challenges it faces in regards to the industry and that there is potential in the cane fields in the north. Well, basically, we're at the point where our the main the preferential markets that Belize has grown accustomed to trading within are at the point where they are being eroded, or you know steps have been taken for erosion of these preferential markets. So basically, what we're studying here is how Belize could adapt to this new trading environment, the the, the shifts in policies that our cooperation partners are having, and how those would affect. Belize, what we need to do as, uh, in the, as an industry and as a country to adapt to the, the new world order of uh, global trade. Well, I would say that at the moment there is potential for Belize to be a lot more competitive. There are challenges that we're facing, um, but that's not unique to Belize. Dr. Louis Zabane from Galen University told us this is the first time the students have challenged themselves to study an entire industry and hopes the findings can be put to good use. This time um, we decided to bring uh, five students together and we got some wonderful synergies by them studying various aspects of the sugar industry. For example, we had um, a study of the international trade aspects of the industry. We had the production uh, aspects of the industry. We looked at the social issues, we looked at the environmental issues, and we also look at the public sector issues. So it is quite a comprehensive study of the industry. And it's also a part of our philosophy that our students need to engage, not just our students, but also our faculty, need to be engaged in those issues that are relevant to our country's development. What happens after these master candidates uh, finish their thesis, they get a grade? Dr. Castillo and myself will be editing a book. We'll be, we'll be compiling this information into one book and we will have that available to all the stakeholders and certainly to anybody who would want to have a copy of it. And the, the price of it will just be there to cover the cost of the publishing of the book. Vice Chairman of the Belize Sugar Cane Farmers Association Committee of Management, Alfredo Ortega, told us the information revealed are eye-openers even for him, a veteran in the industry. Based on the oral presentations that the candidates did this morning to the, to the stakeholders, what do you think about the findings and about the recommendations they make? I think that the, it was very good findings and I think that the recommendations that they did um, for today are very good. And I am uh, waiting for a book that they will be taking out based on this, on this research that they have done. And I hope that this, um, this book will give us a good guidance on where we are to move from this point right now. But the information gathered today, um, the information that was given today, I think were very very good. I think that we're quite directed to the point where they, they researched it and I well it give me also um, as an individual an opportunity to learn more that there are certain weaknesses in, in areas that I didn't thought that we have such a weakness. Reporting for Love News from Orange Walk. I'm